40 years ago today, Ankeny was hit by a tornado that devastated the town. Wallace and Mabel White were killed, and at least 50 others were hurt. Well, tonight, the Ankeny Area Historical Society launches a new exhibit about the tornadoes. KCCI's Stephanie Nolte shows you why people are still talking about the tornado today. It's hard for many of these people to forget the devastation the tornado of 1974 left behind in Ankeny. It started at the northwest uh, edge of Ankeny and went all the way to the southeast edge, so it took a major portion of the town. Doreen McClary Gillespie was visiting her parents in this house behind her when they heard the tornado warning on the news. My husband and my dad said, ah, one chance of 10,000 hitting here. Well, no, it hit here. <laughs> when the tornado hit, they were all hiding in the basement under a pool table. But my mom and dad had so much stuff underneath the pool table. All we could get was our heads underneath the pool table. So we said we'd look good if we'd, something happened to us. We'd look good in the casket anyway. When the noise was over, we snuck upstairs and saw two by eights sticking like like darts through the walls of the house and into the into the bookshelves. When it was safe, Glenda Brady documented the damage on her camera. I just walked around from block to block and saw the people, you know, walking around in a daze and crying. Dennis Ballard had just been on the job six months as police chief when he had to help organize recovery efforts. People just came out and helped. They didn't ask why. You didn't have to pry them out of their house to get help. They were there. And they were there again as a community today. Remembering the destruction of 40 years ago. Stephanie Nolte, KCCI 8 News, I was news leader. If you'd like to check out the exhibit yourself, you're going to have another opportunity to do so during the Historical Society's Ice Cream Social that's coming up on Sunday between 2 and 4.